my name is uh, Guito Omdesta and I uh, come from uh, Eritrea, which is uh, located in East Africa. I arrived long time, quite long time ago now, uh, on December 1998. That time I came with uh, my mom and uh, with my brother, uh, which is my dad's sponsor us. Uh, dad arrived on uh, 96. Um, Eritrea will get independent uh, from Ethiopia on uh, 91. Uh, that time uh, was people, uh, uh, two group of people was fighting for independence. And one of the group, which is the current government, uh, uh, win uh, for the independent. But my dad was in the other organization, which has been forced to to leave uh, uh, Eritrea and uh, go through to Sudan. Um, and since the independent, the government uh, not try to, uh, as we hope, there was no uh, democracy and no election stuff. And dad was uh, fighting. Didn't grow up with my dad because he was uh, guerrilla fighting for the independent. But as I mentioned to you, um, they lost. As I lost, but the government didn't uh, provide it that. Uh, lot of parties that we was expecting. Uh, instead of doing that, there was hunting them from Sudan and from Eritrea, I mean from Ethiopia. There was moving around the uh, country um, and neighbor countries. Um, in some states, there was trying to uh, kidnap them from uh, uh, Ethiopia at that time, it was 94, I guess. Um, but fortunately, uh, my dad was uh, get opportunity or chance to be live again, so the Australian government have uh, accept uh, my dad with some lot of groups, um, and then we was in Eritrea. I was very teenager, but I wasn't uh, welcoming because of my dad. There was a uh, lot of police or force uh, were looking after us, so I have to force to leave uh, Eritrea, which is that I love a uh, country. Just to cross and to leave the country it wasn't easy at all, uh, as you know. It was hard, hardship, a lot of travels. And then we left it to Ethiopia when, when his dad was arrived in Australia, and then he immediately sponsored us. So that's how we came. First was very difficult. Uh, at that time, there was not not a lot of refugees in 98. Uh, just imagine, uh, there was not Africans, uh, many Africans. Uh, you don't speak the English. Uh, you don't drive. It wasn't it wasn't easy, but quickly uh, we adapted. It. We went to the English course of uh, Then there was very the teacher was helping a lot to integrate it with the communities. So for a year and two years was a little bit of struggle, but we we were very happy after that. When you live uh, home. Uh, because you don't know nothing, you don't think there is better, better, better things outside of Eritrea. But when you come here, you see a lot of opportunity. The world is open for you. You know, so many. Uh, you will be able to watch everything and to analyze and see. So I'm very grateful that I'm here and uh, educated myself. My business. Um, when I came here, I told you I wasn't speaking English at all. Then I wanted to test doing IT and I didn't enjoy it, and then swap it to accounting. They didn't have any account background, but I managed to finish it. I couldn't find a job uh, for the first graduation. Mm -hmm. Then I found it very interesting doing the businesses. So I see this opportunity, look, uh, you see the African-Americans have Barbara Shaw mm, doing it, and uh, a lot of uh, African communities were struggling mm, to go, because our hair is different. A lot of um, international students come from Africa, people who come for a meeting. Mm -hmm. I said that, so I opened small business, a barber shop, and it was booming. Top 15 small uh, business in Australia. Now I'm very quite happy, special for the people, international students, when they told me, your business is already referred from Kenya. They already, they give them the addresses when they come to the study here. So I said, well, I'm doing very great for the community, I guess, yeah. and uh, for our city, uh, having that barbara shop. 
Um, Aussie, no. <laughs> no. Uh, if I get opportunity, I might go to see my childhood, uh, to see um, the countries and some relatives. But unfortunately, I can't go while the government is here. But to live there, no, because I have a kid who's uh, very settled here. You know, the, I don't have homes more than Australia. Yeah. My first home is Australia uh, right now, so you know, to live here. Yeah.